Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on my channel. So today's tutorial is on these snowflake hard gel encapsulated nails. So if you want to see how they're done, then just keep watching. I'm going to be using my Ugly Duckling gel brush and this is what the outer packaging looks like. It comes with a lid which is amazing because it protects your brush and then I'm going to be using the Ugly Duckling Premium Gel Hard Gel in Clear. So I've applied my form, I've prepped and primed my nail and then I've applied one thin layer of the clear gel and cured in my lamp for a full cure. I'm now going in with my second bead and creating the tip. So for this design I want to create a clear tip because I want the glitter pieces to really show through and it be a glass nail. So I'm using that small bead and I'm just creating my connecting area for the tip. So I place that bead on the free edge and push it back with the tip of my brush to create that join area with the nail and the free edge creating that clear tip. I then am using another small bead and creating the length of the nail, dragging my brush from side to side down the nail to create the length to the desired length and I went to number four. I'm then using what's left on my brush to create another thin layer on that natural nail so I can file back when I want to do a redesign. So I'm curing that in my lamp for a full cure and I've just removed my nail form and I'm gonna repeat this step to all five nails. So there you have it, there are all five nails done. This is what they look like before any filing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the inhibition layer off the nails and then give them a quick file to get them the shape I want. So here is the before and here is the after. So at the moment we've got a really thin base layer of that gel and I've filed it into the shape I want so if you're using tips we've kind of got to that layer right now so going in with these lovely Lucente glitters this one is a beautiful blue holographic and it's called Boogie Nights this one is a silver holographic and it is called Night Fever and this is part of the Disco Balls collection of glitters and the third one is this beautiful iridescent white that reflects blue and pink and it's called Dancing Queen. And then last but certainly not least, we have this rose pink gold called Funky Town. So to apply these, I'll be using the Lacente T1 Nail Art Tool. And this is a silicone tool and what I love about this is you can unscrew the top here and then inside the little container within, you have four more silicone heads in different shapes. So it's really versatile and really good storage so it keeps it all compact. So I'm going to take all three of the colours I've chosen for these nails. So the blue holographic, the white, blue, pink, iridescent and the silver holographic and I'm going to apply them into a triangle tray and give them a good mix up together and can we just take a minute for how super holographic and reflective these are stunning. So I'm going to apply one thin layer to my nail of the Ugly Duckling hard gel and I'm going to work that into the nail creating a sticky layer for the glitter chunks to go into. So again I'm applying a really thin layer of this gel, you're not creating any strength or bulk with this. So I'm then going to use my brush to pick up some of the glitters. I've left this in because I want to show you what not to do and how I made a little bit of a mistake here. It does work but it gets your brush covered in these dots and they get stuck to the brush, they don't apply very easily. So I changed my method of how I applied these. So I'm going to show you how the best way to apply them is. So again go in with your thin layer of the hard gel from Ugly Duckling. So I'm using my brush to really push that gel onto the nail to create a really thin base layer. I'm leaving it wet so I'm not curing it and I'm just going in with that Lacente T1 tool which is silicone getting a bit of hard gel on the end of it and dipping it into those glitter dot pieces and picking them up one or two at a time and placing them on the nail exactly where I want them. This gives you so much more control and as you can see they come off the end of that silicone tool perfectly they don't stick and get all gloopy and messy. 
this method works so much better so I thought I would leave in the bit where I used the brush and it didn't work out so well just so you can see how it doesn't all work out first time round perfect it takes a little bit of trial and error and this is the method that I found worked the best for me so we're just using those glitter dots to cover the whole entire surface of the nail it can be totally random or you could create a pattern with them it doesn't really matter because we are going over the top with some beautiful snowflake stamping in a minute but look how beautiful that is they look so cool and they lay really nice and flat which is perfect because we're going to go in with some hard gel to encapsulate so I've just cured those dots in place for 60 seconds in my lamp to secure them in place I'm now going in with what's called a slip layer so this is a thin to medium layer of the hard gel and I'm applying that to the whole entire surface of the nail making sure I cover from side to side all those glitter dot pieces don't worry about the edges because we will be finished filing so any that are sticking out it will be filed into a nice shape we're going to leave that uncured so it is still wet and we're going in with our second bead and this is the bead that I'm going to create the apex with the structure and the shape so I'm using my brush pulling it from side to side and dragging it down the nail and when I get to the end I just stroke it down because this is the area where we need the least amount of product so as you can see there, I was just showing you a side view, the apex wasn't quite in the right place, so I just tipped my thumb upside down and let gravity do its thing and pulled that apex into place and tickled it a little bit with my brush to pull it into an even better shape and that's gone in my lamp to cure for a full cure. So I'm just going to show you one more time how I encapsulate the nail in hard gel, applying that thin layer of a slip layer is what it's called so it just means that you can apply the next layer which is the bigger bead where you create your apex a lot easier it helps the gel move and slide about into the right place and make sure you've covered it from side to side it makes it really easy to encapsulate using gel so I'm just applying that second bead and pulling it down the nail moving my brush from side to side keep your brush attached to that gel so that you don't create too many bubbles but but if you get a lot of bubbles it doesn't really matter it kind of adds to the effect of this look we're going for so it doesn't matter too much after I've finished that nail it can go in the lamp for a full cure of 60 seconds I will then complete the encapsulation process on the rest of the nails and I'll meet you right back so there you have it there are all five nails all encapsulated and look at that sparkle they look so beautiful and mermaidy so I'm just going to use a bit of cleanser to remove that inhibition layer and the sticky layer off of all the nails and I'm just going to go in with my finish filing. If you want to see how I do my finish filing, check out some of my other videos because I cover it in depth more so in those. So there you have it, there are all the nails finished filed and ready to go. I almost like the look of them like this, matte, I think they look really funky and different. So I'm just going to go over with a white buffing block to really get rid of any of the etches from my nail file because this is a clear crystal design. I want there to be no scratch marks so I gave him a good buff. I'm now dusting off any dust and wiping over with a little bit of cleanser making sure I wipe underneath the nail as well as they are a crystal design and look at the underneath of the nails how cool is that. I really do love the matte effect though, I think it looks really funky. So I'm going to be using the Let It Snow plate from Dixie Plates and it is a mini stamping plate full of snowflakes, perfect for a festive set of nails. I'm also going to be using my Dixie Plates Crystal Clear Duo Stamper and I'm going to be using some white stamping polish for this design. So I'm just picking up some of those snowflakes and stamping them right down onto my nail. There's no pattern, no way of doing this correctly. I'm just picking it up and stamping it randomly. That's all I'm doing. It's really easy. This plate is laid out perfectly to use. For this type of design it works perfectly you don't have to do snowflakes on every single nail you could just do them on the ring finger it's completely up to you they're your nails so you can do them exactly how you want to so I'm just showing you here how I didn't like that snowflake that was printed in the bottom right corner so I'm just using a cotton bud dipped in some acetone to remove it and then stamping another snowflake in its place that I liked a little bit more so it's really easy to do so I'm just going to repeat this on every nail and I'll be back for the next step Oh, 
After I finish stamping the snowflakes on every nail, I'm just taking a little bit of that white stamping polish and using a dotting tool and applying some dots in the gaps on the nail where the snowflakes aren't. I feel like this really finished off the design and made it look like snowflakes falling down the nail. It looked so winter wonderland. I love how this turned out. I think it really finished the design off. After letting that air dry for a good 30 seconds, I'm going in with my top coat and applying a generous layer of this over the whole entire surface of the nail and is this not just your favourite part seeing a design come to life and the sparkle come through it is so beautiful I love the multi-dimensional multi-layered look of this nail I think it really is so effective and they complement each other beautifully the glitter shining through with the snowflakes on top it looks so stunning and so elegant but super Christmassy and festive as well and I feel like a design like this will carry you through into the new year. I just love how these turned out. They are one of my favourite sets of nails ever. I love them. So I'm going to finish applying that top coat to every single nail and cure that in my lamp for 60 seconds. I'm then going to go in and top coat the underneath of my nails because these are a clear crystal design. I want them to be super clear and you to be able to see through the nail. So I am going to top coat the underneath of the nail here with a little bit of top coat to really make that pop and shine. After curing that layer in my lamp for 60 seconds, I'm going to clean up all of the stamping polish that's around my nails here and I'll be back with the finished result. So there you go, there you have it, there are the finished design of snowflake encapsulated chunky glitter nails. I really hope you found this tutorial helpful and took away some good tips and tricks of how to encapsulate using hard gel and how to encapsulate those bigger chunkier bits of glitters. Don't forget to tag me in any recreations you do, I'd love to see them. And comment down below, are you a super festive person with your nails or are you more of a subtle Christmassy person? person let me know down below I'd love to know thank you so much again for watching don't forget to follow me on my Instagram Isabel May Nails for more of my nail work and subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in my next one bye